This is Boxing Tickets and I in association with SB Sports. We're just after the, the first press conference for Taylor Cameron and I'm sure we're probably, amongst obviously the man, is probably the proudest man in Ireland at the moment. That's, that was obviously special for you today, Pete. Yeah, very special. Um, well, what, a night, what a night of boxing is going to be on May the 20th with Katie fighting and obviously I've got Gary Cully fighting as well, so it's going to be a special night. Obviously, when all them years ago, obviously, Katie set out in the dream of, of, of boxing. Did you ever imagine, obviously, the dream of, of obviously fighting at home? You know, we've got to the stage where people thought, is Katie ever going to fight at home as a, as a professional? Now that you're seeing it, that, and it's going to be another historic night, how, how much bit more can it get for Katie? I think it's unbelievable. I mean, uh, who thought it, the big circle had come round to this? I mean, K fought in the tree arena before and under Bernard Dunn's undercard, you know. I mean, they were all great nights, you know, when Bernard was fighting out. For now, for K to be headlining these shows is unbelievable. And, and obviously, eight weeks' time, you know, people saying it's a big test and everything else, but I sort of watched the press conference and I'm sort of going, Katie's experience, watch everything she's done in this sport. She's met people like Chantel Cameron before. She beat Chantel Cameron in 2011. So Katie knows exactly what Chantel Cameron's all about. And it's just a fact of probably more for her enjoying the atmosphere and making sure that the atmosphere doesn't probably affect the occasion for her. And I, Katie beat Chantel. I was in the corner when she beat Chantel in 2011, but that's amateur boxing. Amateur boxing and professionals, two different sports, you know. Um, Chantel's not coming to lose, she's obviously coming to win, she's undisputed. So um, I think, I do think this is a, the toughest fight Katie's had. I think it's a harder fight than, uh, than Serana. So, um, you know, uh, it is going to be a tough test and Katie could have got a lot easier opponent than Chantel. But credit to Katie taking up Chantel, so it's going to be a great fight. And obviously for you, for you yourself, obviously Gary Collier, obviously he coach, is obviously going to be a cool main event on the card. Gary's a freak of nature, I've obviously watched him even from his, from the, he first started in Belfast, Belfast was like his home. He's now finally getting a chance to fight in Dublin as well. It's going to be a special night for you, not only for Katie fighting the card, but obviously for Gary showing his pedigree as he moves towards World Honours. Yeah, you were just waiting for an opponent, it's hard to get an opponent for Gary. Nobody wants to fight him, he's too big for, he's too big for the weight and... Um, He's punching too hard for anybody. Nobody wants to take the risk against him, you know. Or they want to get paid too much to fight Gary, you know. So we've a lot of offers out there for. We've made a lot of offers for people to to fight him, and we're waiting to see if any of them will come back, you know. But there's been no takers yet. Is the fear, I guess, you know, I was sort of speaking to Gary earlier on, and, and obviously I'm, I'm stopping people in the first and second rounds. He'll want to enjoy the atmosphere, so probably more so for you. Are you looking probably more for someone that's going to take him rounds? But I guess. It's good in theory that somebody's going to take him rounds, but whenever he lands in their chin, it's a different story. Look, we do rounds in the in the in the gym. He does rounds and rounds. He's um, with top quality sparring partners with Sean McComb, Jazza, Tyrone McKenna. Like, he's, he does rounds with them. You know, we don't need the rounds. If he can stop him in the first 30 seconds, I want him to stop him in 30 seconds. He don't need the rounds. You know, um, just you know, he's not going to get paid for overtime. So if he can get in and out, that's that's the main thing. You know. And I just want to finally touch on obviously Irish box now, you know, we're going to have five fight cards in nine weeks. We've never ever had it so good. So the Katie Taylor effect of coming home seems to be bringing everything. We've obviously Dublin next week, Waterford, Galway, back to Dublin and then McConnell and Lopez the week after. It's, it's, a, it's a proud moment to be a fan of Irish boxing and for people that maybe don't watch it as much, there's no better excuse of a better time to get involved and, and start tuning and supporting every boxer. Yeah, look, Katie's, Katie's had the same effect as what AJ had in England, and also, you know, um, much uh, slack AJ got. If it wasn't for him, the English boxing wouldn't have been where it was, you know. The same with Katie, and um, he's kick-started uh, professional boxing. It's been a long time, we've, 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 been, we've been starved of professional boxing, you know. So it's great now to, to finally see some shows coming around, you know, and like I say, we're boxing out on the 1st of April, and four boxes out on the 8th of April, so it's great. Do you like to stay busy, obviously, every weekend? I guess if you're not in front of the TV watching boxing, you want to be there and experience it at all. Is, is, is that what you ideally want? You want to have a fighter on a card every week of the year? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be great if we could. Um, you know, but um, like I say, the, the shows have been very few and far between. And he started very slow boxing this year, you know. So um, hopefully there's going to be cards every week now. It'd be, it'd be great if they are, you know. It'd be great for all the fighters as well because it's their career as well and it's their living, so... They all deserve it because they do train hard. I guess you know that the 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 thing that's going to 
bump Katie up even more as potentially I know we've, we've talked about Croke Park and everything else there's a potential of that still for September we know what Irish weather's like so you know we could end up like Frampton Jackson in 2018 where it rains the whole card but is that the icing on the cake that sort of you know when it all first started out Katie dreamed probably of Croke Park former footballer as well so she's probably been there before but that'll be the icing on the cake it, you, couldn't, you couldn't beat that could you? Nah, just the, the Croke Park's iconic, isn't it? You know, so to fight in Croke Park would be unbelievable, wouldn't it? You know, but look, she's got to get over May the twentieth first. That's the main thing for everyone, you know, and and the, all the boxing. We've got to get over May the twentieth first, and and hopefully all goes well for everyone. Well, thanks very much for your time, Pete. I'm sure we'll see plenty of you over the next eight weeks or so, obviously, and all the other cards. Um, and roll on May the twentieth. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. Take care.